Hi friends of cocktails, I'll tell you more about the cocktail time wall of fame later, so stick around. Before that, we'll make a delicious modern classic, the gin basil smash. Then I'll show you a sustainable approach to make a lot of basil smash cocktails fast, using a zero waste clarified basil cordial with cucumber juice, spices and some other stuff, and we'll make an elevated basil smash, with a little snack. Cordials can make your job a lot easier, whether you are working behind the bar or at an event, but it also gives you the option to make the cocktail with your own twist. Not only are you combining the sweet and sour components, you can also add the additional flavors, make it look special by clarifying it, and minimize waste by using as many parts of your ingredients as possible. But first, we'll make the original basil smash. It's cocktail time! Gin Basil Smash was originally called Gin Pesto by its creator Jörg Miller, created in 2008 at La Lyon Bar de Paris in Hamburg, Germany. It quickly spread around the world and has since become a contemporary classic. Here's how I make it. Gin Basil Smash is a variation of the Whiskey Smash, but Jörg Miller used a herbaceous combination of gin and basil. For gin he says that 50 ml is not enough, 60 is the recipe and 70 is love. My love is waiting for me at home and I'll make two cocktails today, so I'm going with 60 ml or 2 ounces. As for the basil, his philosophy is better too much than not enough basil in this drink. And unlike mint, it won't turn bitter if you model it too much. It will just turn the drink nice and green, so give it a good model before adding lemon juice and simple syrup. I'll add equal parts of lemon super juice and 1 to 1 sugar syrup, 22 and a half ml or 3 quarters of an ounce of each. And, as I always do for sours, 2 drops of saline solution. A gin pesto needs some salt, right? My specs are based on my palate and the fact that I'm using super juice. But there are many recipes and techniques online, including a great video from York Mayer himself, which I'll link in the description. After I add ice and shake vigorously, I'll strain into a double rocks glass over fresh ice. And you'll want a double strain to make sure no bits of basil get in the drink and in a drinker's mustache. Garnish with a sprig of basil, and that's it. It's a really beautiful green cocktail. Before we make our own version, let's give this a try. Prost! It's light, herbaceous, and very refreshing. Basil and botanicals of the gin work together incredibly well, with sugar and super juice balancing the drink perfectly. Good gemacht, York! A wonderful summer drink, but if you're making more of this, one thing you'll have to deal with is a lot of basil parts in the coils of your hot orange strainer. So if you're hosting a party or working a busy shift or an event, a basil cordial can make your life a bit easier. But like I mentioned, you can also incorporate other flavors than just basil, lemon and sugar. Here's what I'll use to make a basil cucumber cordial. I don't have everything measured out yet, but we'll need water, basil, cucumber, white wine, lemon for juice and peels, citric and malic acids, sugar and some spices. I'm using coriander and fennel. I'll also clarify the cordial, so I need agar agar and some water to hydrate it in. Consider this your cocktail prep, which will save you time when you want to make a gin basil smash in a fast and efficient way. Let's start with blanching the basil. This process inactivates enzymes that cause browning, as well as textural changes and off flavors. Start by preparing an ice bath and boiling some water. I'll take around 30 grams of basil, with stamps included, and place it into boiling water for about 15 seconds. Then it goes straight into the ice bath for one minute. Blanching basil ensures it keeps more flavor, texture, color and nutritional qualities. Place the basil on a kitchen towel to dry off a bit. After you remember to put on the apron, Move on to the cucumber juice. I'll start with peeling the cucumber. You can soak the leftover peels in water to make cucumber water. I need 60 ml or 2 ounces of cucumber juice, so I think one large cucumber will be plenty. But don't worry if you make extra. Cucumber juice is a great hydrator with a high number of vitamins and minerals. I'll leave the rhymes to Maka B and get the blender. Click on the link in the description to listen about other benefits of the cucumba. You'll thank me later. I'll cut the cucumber into large chunks and pulverize them in a blender. The juicer would be the best option for this, 
but even a food processor could do a good job as well. To strain the juice, I'll again use a muslin cloth, but a cheesecloth or even a clean kitchen towel would work as well. To squeeze out all the juice, I'm using a potato ricer, but you can do this by hand as well. The strained juice will be added to the cordial, and the pulp will be used to make great tzatziki sauce, based on the recipe by Akis Petritsikis. Besides the cucumber, you'll also need yogurt, garlic, olive oil, vinegar, salt, pepper, and some chopped dill. We've done plenty of kitchen stuff recently, so I'll just leave the link to his video in the description. For lemon, we'll use the peel and juice. As highlighted in the super juice episode, citrus peel has a ton of flavor in the essential oils. One gram will be enough. And while I'm at it, I'll also juice the lemons. Once we have that, we can start adding everything we need for the cordial into the blender, starting with 40 ml of water. For basil, first remove the thickest parts of the stalks, then throw the blanched basil into the blender. Next, as mentioned before, 60 ml or 2 ounces of cucumber juice. And of course, drink the rest. Cheers! If you want the cordial to be non-alcoholic, you can up the amount of cucumber juice, but I'll use 45 ml or 1.5 oz of a young white wine. This will give the cordial some extra body and a subtle wine undertone. The last liquid component is 45 ml or 1.5 oz of lemon juice. Throw in the lemon peel and add our old friends, citric and malic acids. 4.3 g of citric and 3.7 g of malic acids. To balance all of the acids, we'll need enough sugar. 108 grams to be precise. And lastly, crush 0.10 gram of coriander and 0.12 gram of fennel in a mortar and pestle before adding to the blender as well. This will release more of the flavors into the cordial. Blend everything for at least 30 seconds. The basil cucumber cordial is basically done and after filtering, it will be ready to make delicious cocktails. I'll take it a step further and clarify it. We'll do that with 0.8 gram of agar agar but instead of hydrating it with the cordial itself, like we've done in the past, I set aside 60 grams of water that would otherwise go in the cordial as well, just for this. With cucumber being sensitive to heat, the cordial might get a cucumber soup-like flavor if we were to heat up the cordial. Dissolve the agar and as soon as you see signs of simmering, take it off the heat. Add the cordial into the agar-agar mixture to bring down the temperature, whisking constantly. Then transfer this bowl into a freezer or an ice bath. I add plenty of ice and salt to the water, which lowers the freezing point, making the whole ice bath colder. I always try to add the minimal amount of agar, so there's no metallic taste in the clarified cordial. But that also means that this mixture will thicken, but it won't form a hard gel. For me, that took about 2 hours, but it can vary. You should see small lumps throughout the cordial, meaning the solid particles of the cordial are forming around agar. You can also check the temperature which should be almost as low as the ice bed. This should then be ready to gently break apart and filter through a muslin cloth. As always, if the first liquid coming through is still a bit cloudy, transfer the filter and refilter it, as the agar and solid particles create an additional layer of filtration. In case the result is still not perfectly clear, you can use part of this cordial to repeat the whole process. But I'm happy with my crisp, fresh and clarified cordial. So now we have our cordial and a sustainable side dish we can add just a few more things and make the elevated basil smash. Gin, saline solution, green chartreuse and basil microgreen for the garnish. I'll be throwing this cocktail instead of shaking or stirring, so I'll add ice into the smaller shaker tin and ingredients into the bigger one. Even before you start making the cocktail, make sure a clear block of ice is already tempering and chilling the glass at the same time. For gin, I'm using the French Citadel gin with bright citrus notes and a peppery spiciness on the finish. 45 ml or 1.5 oz. That will pair nicely with the flavors and spices of our basil cucumber cordial. Add 30 ml or 1 oz of this sweet and sour component. You can scale it up if you're using a bigger glass, but keep the 3 to 2 ratio. As per cocktail time tradition, 2 drops of saline solution to enhance the flavors of our elevated cocktail. Place a strainer in the shaker tin with ice and start throwing the cocktail from one tin to the other. This adds more air into the cocktail than stirring, but doesn't make it as cloudy as shaking. It also chills and dilutes the cocktail really well. Once you see the bottom shaker starts getting frosty as well, the cocktail is ready. Drain the glass with clear ice, add your stamp of approval and pour the cocktail over it. 
give the cocktail an additional herbaceous layer with a float of green chartreuse. And just so you get a hint of what to expect, a garnish of basil microgreens. Final touch, the cucumber waste turned into a snack. Tzatziki spread over bread. This already looks like a culinary experience. Let's give it a try. Cheers. From the aroma you know, you can expect a herbal and fresh cocktail, with basil and green chartreuse leading the way. And it packs way more flavor than you'd expect from the appearance. It's a gin basil smash without a doubt, with a cordial and the citrus forward gin working in harmony to deliver a herbal and crisp drink. The wine we added to the cordial is just a nuance in the flavor, but it still gives it an extra layer. The tzatziki snack is the perfect companion to this cocktail. A zero waste approach that leads to a complimentary food pairing for a cocktail is something I'll always enjoy. I also love seeing people surprised by flavors they're not expecting, because of the clear appearance of the cocktail. And drinks like this make that happen. As for the beginning of this episode, two of our patrons, Caesar and Stefan, joined the Negroni tier to become the first members of the Cocktail Time Wall of Fame. Caesar decided to give a shout out to his home bar, One More Drink, so that will now be a part of the Cocktail Time set and episodes going forward. This is an exclusive and limited top tier, with 50 bricks available in the Cocktail Time clock. So if you'd like to join the Cocktail Time Wall of Fame as well, or just see some extra content, including behind the scenes stuff, head over to our Patreon and join the Cocktail Time family there. Everyone else, I'll see you next time. Cheers.